Mega was a freak here again today, and today I'm going to show you guys my large extended stay kit or bug out bag, whatever you guys want to call it. So right here it is. It's very large, as you guys can tell. I have a pair of binoculars that usually just stay strapped to the outside. But um, okay, let's say some. Let me say something. Else. These two pockets come off, so this turns into a smaller backpack, and this turns into a fanny pack, which is very good. Okay, outside of the bag, stainless steel canteen. Back on the other outside of the bag. I have a collapsible fishing pole with 8 pound test line. On this other outside of the bag, I have my Gerber Gator machete and one of these little 200 hour flashlights, glow sticks, strobing glow stick, and whistles. And my Gerber Gator, which I already said. And then right here, Let's go in this pocket first. Right here I have a Winchester knife, great fish spinner, razor sharp, I have cleaning pads for my knives, you'll see in a little bit. Gun oil, which I'm using as knife oil. A Smith sharpener with a carbine, ceramic, and ser serrated part sharpener. No. A screwdriver. Morse code and all that stuff. Phillips and straight head attachment for the screwdriver. Next, um, this is a small first aid baggie. It's not a real first aid kit, but it has some stuff you need. Band-aids. Smaller band-aids for like mosquito bites and such. A Smith's knife sharpener, coarse, fine side, hook conings, great for sharpening your hooks also. Next is my dog's thyroid medicine container. I have a Swiss Army knife, Fuse got a few alcohol pads, mace, and this little whistle type of thing. And then I have a K-bar. United States Marine Corps K-Bar. It's a pretty good knife. Piece of woodworking knife. I would suggest some of you guys get one of these. And this is I might have a series coming up called the Affordable Fishcraft Items, and this will be one of them. Next, I have this watertight package with moleskin, needles, some bent ones so I can do stitches. A 112 piece first aid kit, duct tape, duct tape, 10 Advils and 5 of my allergy medications, neutralizing tablets, water purifying tablets, that's what they are, and this is the actual water purifying tablets. And then I have two boxes of waterproof matches, flashlight, real strong flashlight, another real strong LED flashlight. Flint, whistle, miniature hammer, snare wire, snare wire, really strong thread, 50 feet of fishing line, a Winchester pocket knife, which is extremely sharp, there we go, as you guys can see, great for skinning also. One of these party things. You can probably get some attention with that. More Advil. Nail clipper. And a Strike Force Flint. 
Don't worry, nothing will catch on fire. I'm on green grass. And I'll make sure everything's out before I go inside. Let me just throw all this back in there real quick. Okay, that's good enough for now. Next, I have a 0.7 mil plastic drop cloth. This is going to be in, used with my um, tarp. This would be my floor. Next, I have really high quality string or cordage. Then I have cotton cordage and like 500 pound cordage. Caffeine gel espresso shots. Cool laid back. And another caffeine gel espresso shot. And then I have a tire. And then I have a tire inner tube, which is called a Ranger band. Which can be used for anything from fire starting to anything else. Let me just throw these in here real quick. So that way I don't have to put everything back together. And more cordage. A few things of hand sanitizer. Four actually. So that way I can really get a fire started pretty easily. Rat traps for game processing. I have three of these. This would make catching game a lot easier, and they're probably 20 times more successful than snares. One more hand sanitizer, so that equals four total. And tin foil. After that, oh, let me just show you guys something about this real quick. So, say I get stuck or this pack is too heavy and I can't walk anymore, but I can walk five miles with this pack because I've done it before. And um, it comes right off like this. Take these, clip them onto the side. Doesn't take too much work. And boom, you have a smaller much more lightweight backpack for quick day trips. Next, in the fanny pack, as you guys can see here, it is a fanny pack. It has a great compartment for storing money right in here. And inside this fanny pack, I have a hobo camp tool, spoon, um, fork, knife blade, can opener, bottle opener, wine opener, and a nail file slash cleaner. Technically, I guess you could use that as a sharpener too. And in the next pocket, I have this filled with hydro crackers, signaling mirror, compass, Orion flare gun. Safety check it is unloaded with five, six extra flares. Next, I have a smoke signal and two really strong, good road flares or aircraft flares, whatever you want to call it. And inside, the kit. Jesse, what time are we at? 540? 9? Okay. Next, inside the pack, I have a one gallon thing of water. My top seal eagle, 111A. The tonsil point. A small tackle box to go along with my breakdown fishing pole. A 8x10 tarp. This filled with a bivy peanut butter and a 72 hour mountain pass meal kit. It also has smaller packets of water as you guys can see right there. Next. Cox survival book. It has a lot of useful info in it. 
Next, I have a reptiles in North America. Helps you identify poisonous species. I have a two-person mess kit. Fingerless gloves. These are actually my paintballing gloves, but they work really good for knives. And yeah. So, um, two of those. Cotton balls. Hmm, start tons of fires with those. And a sleeping bag rated to 25 degrees. Okay, so this is what I keep in my large either extended stay kit or bug out bag. Also down here I have a cover for the bag. Um, high tech makes it. It's an internal frame. Backpack. I really suggest you guys get one. High techs are not only very affordable, but very high quality bags. You guys should really, really look into getting one. And, um, yeah, hold on one sec. I also, that's where I have all these at. Okay, so Megal is a freak out. Thanks for watching.